When styling, there are a few products that I use time and time again, and I'm going to quickly run through those because whether you're renting or you've just bought your first home, these are the items that I suggest going to the stores and picking up because you will use them throughout your home for many, many years to come. My first essential item to style your home is using a tray. These can be used in so many different ways to anchor a uh, arrangement or a vignette, to be used by the sink to display your soaps. Basically in any room of the home, a tray is a great way to create a base to anchor your styling on top of. Cushions, I don't think I've ever styled a space without a cushion in it. Uh, they just instantly add softness and warmth and with a huge range of colours and textures that are available in stores now, they can really bring a big punch of interest and colour to your space. I'm all about bringing life into your styling and indoor plants is one of the top ways to do that. You can pick up real plants, um, but if you don't have a green thumb, there are a huge range of faux plants out there that can fool most people. For example, this one that I've used in my entry is an artificial plant that I got from Adairs. I absolutely love candles and I use them all the time and nowadays the vessels that candles come in can be a decorative item in their own right. I've used a few different candles in my home, such as this white ceramic candle and also a black timber candle. Both of these are from Adairs. Books are excellent for adding a bit of history and a way of showing the personality of the people who live there. Most of my books are all interiors related, but whatever your passion is, you could find a range of books on that topic and use them throughout your home, not just in a bookcase, but also on your coffee table, on your bedside table, just about anywhere you can really bring in books to share your interests. Throw blankets are fabulous and these look great from being draped over your sofa and of course the foot of your bed but also in other areas or even just curled up in a basket to add interest to an otherwise blank corner of your home. My other must have are baskets. These are fabulous in terms of being a decorative piece especially when they're made by artisans like this large one that I've got from Freedom. Sometimes people will put them around pots and use it as an alternative to a traditional pot plant. I find them fabulous for storage, particularly with young children. It's a more stylish way to organize your toys. Um, but also in the pantry, I use baskets throughout. And in my kitchen here, I've used a really stylish black basket from Freedom, where you can just put trinkets and odd bits in as well.